Washington, BM, U.S. President's Special Envoy Marshall Billingsley said that if Moscow does not agree to the U.S. conditions to extend the START III treaty until the presidential elections in the country, then if Donald Trump is re-elected, the pay will increase, learn BulgarianMilitary.com citing Gazeta.ru. Read more, U.S. The future arms restrictions should include China, not just Russia that is, Washington may put forward a number of conditions for renegotiating the document, which remains the only legal obstacle to starting a new nuclear race. The American authorities may put forward new conditions for extending the treaty on measures to further reduce and limit strategic offensive arms, START, or START III. This will happen if Russia does not accept the U.S. proposal before the country's presidential elections in November this year. This was stated by the U.S. President's Special Representative for Arms Control Marshall Billingsley in an interview with the Commerçant newspaper. We view the proposal we made to Russia as moderate at this stage and very reasonable. I suppose that if Russia does not accept him, then after Trump is re-elected, the entry fee, as we say in the United States, will increase, he warned, noting that the United States will have a number of new conditions under which we will have to insist. He noted in an interview that at the moment the proposal remains in force in the form in which it was made. And if and when Moscow decides to show its willingness to take the path that, frankly, President Vladimir Putin has already discussed with President Trump many times, then we are ready. For us, we could sign an agreement tomorrow, Billingsley added. At the same time, he drew attention to the fact that the United States will not extend START III if Moscow and Washington do not agree to the proposed agreement by February. Bingsley stressed that this agreement is not beneficial for the American side. Read more, what is Russia offering Washington on the arms control deal, START III? He noted that the United States has made a proposal, which is about a set of different components. Some of them may have a clearer structure and be accompanied by the presence of obligations to a greater extent than the agreement of 2009, and some may not be as detailed and will require further development. What we are proposing at this stage is not a treaty requiring Senate ratification, but we expect that on the basis of this a framework concept will emerge, which will ultimately be transformed into a full-fledged treaty. But this future treaty, and we have made it very clear, any future treaty must become multilateral and involve China, said the American representative. The official added that the mention of China in the treaty is an irrevocable U.S. position. Our position is that, speaking about the future agreement, we should bear in mind a trilateral agreement. After all, the more sides you include in the equation, the more complex it becomes, he added. Billingsley noted in this connection that the United States is not considering a future treaty involving, for example, India, Pakistan or North Korea countries that have unofficially nuclear weapons. It will simply become an operative, the more participants, the more negotiations need to be held, the US representative is sure. At the same time, when asked by a journalist about whether the United States is ready to take out its nuclear weapons from Europe, Trump's special envoy answered in the negative, we will not do this. But we are ready to discuss everything that Russia wants to talk to us about. We take the position of the Russian side extremely seriously and consider it important to conduct a professional dialogue on issues of mutual concern, as well as concern of one of the parties, he assured. The extension of the START III treaty is on the agenda, since the agreement expires in February next year. It was signed by the presidents of Russia and the United States, Dmitry Medvedev, and Barack Obama, on April 8, 2010 in Prague. The agreement came into force in February 2011.
The parties pledged to reduce the number of deployed nuclear warheads to 1,550 units, ICBMs, submarine ballistic missiles and heavy bombers to 700 units. Read more. Destruction of START 3, termination of the treaty will cost the US dearly this document remains the last agreement that controls the nuclear weapons of the two powers. Follow us everywhere and at any time. BulgarianMilitary.com has responsive design and you can open the page from any computer, mobile devices or web browsers. For more up-to-date news from us, follow our YouTube, Reddit, LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook pages. Do not miss the chance to subscribe to our newsletter. Subscribe and read our stories in News 360 app in App Store or Google Play or in Feedly app in App Store or Google Play. Subscribe to Google News via Reporter, write and send your article. BulgarianMilitary.com editorial team Let's Block Ads. Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.